All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a special video today. Not our typical gaming, we actually have something related. We are gonna be unboxing the brand new Red Magic 7, as you guys can see right here. Bang, a little Red Magic. Hopefully it's not being blocked too much by the light. So shout out to Red Magic for sending me this out. I'm super excited for this. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it, go through it. Basically, this is the Red Magic 7. This is gonna be the Obsidian version of it. So it does come with 128 gigs of storage. It also does have 12 gigs of RAM, which is absolutely insane. There's two other versions of these, of which you will have more space and more RAM, which I should be phenomenal. I'm actually excited to take a look at these. We'll go ahead and open it up and we'll talk about the specs as we're going through it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take off this beautiful plastic. Look at the box. It is so free freaking nice absolutely fantastic look at this red magic right on top written here with the little red logo here the best part is the side very nice look at this beautiful beautiful freaking artwork on the side red magic over here absolutely fantastic let's go ahead and open it up nice little slide i'm actually gonna flip it over so we can actually see the red magic flip it slides right open you guys want to see the side opening as well bang side opening of the red magic box so let's go ahead and just flip it all the way up there we go start off with look at the box here so you guys can see it too this regular thing here which is probably going to have the little uh, extra things here tabs and uh let me see see what it comes with here we do have our little warranty so obviously you gotta have the warranty and oh it comes with a case okay that's actually really nice a nice little case going on here beautiful little case that is very nice indeed uh we're gonna go ahead and move some stuff let's just not have this too Actually, this, this is gonna stay here but this is the main thing that we're looking for it is gonna be the phone little tab to pull here and beautiful look at this phone here we're gonna take a look more in depth at this but let's see what else is in this uh, box underneath here some more stuff there we go we got our wire beautiful wire here nice red for red magic it's probably just uh breaks open but i know we're just gonna pull it off in this situation like this just nice one little pull and it should come off fairly easily i'm not doing a great job with this but there you go nice wire i want to say probably around looks like to be like three foot or so or three feet and another charging brick there you go little charging brick it's probably one of these adaptable ones unfortunately i have um they sent me a charging brick that's for uh, i guess it's not the american one it looks like uh i don't know exactly i think this is asia most likely but this is not the one that we use so unfortunately i won't be able to use it but good thing i have a bunch of charging bricks but for now our main thing let's go and take a look at the phone i don't know if we'll be able to turn it on we'll see if the battery is already in this but let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful wonderful phone here take this flip off here nice little peel and then, ooh, look at this obsidian color very nice oh my goodness we can kind of compare it size a little bit longer this is the phone that i'm using right now a little bit longer so that's gonna be really really nice very cool we got the nice red button on the side here it looks like there's like a lock button and there's a volume buttons over here on the side so pretty nice very very thin too so very very nice and it looks like we also have some air triggers so we decided to try this out let's see if i can turn this on real quick looks like we do have the power button over here but very nice very clean does turn on there you go red magic powered by android very nice i love the black i wonder if this is another sticker i can take off but it does say what it is we have the model nx 679j obsidian 12 gig plus 128 gigabyte so very nice indeed this does have 165 refresh rate which is really really nice and it does use the snapdragon 8 gen 1 chipset which is the nicest one we're actually going to set this up in a second and i'll come back all right so while this is booting up let's kind of take a look at a few other features here so you guys can see there is some exhaust all the way through some fans here so very nice it uses some fans so this can be nice and cool not only that it is liquid cool yes liquid cool so when you're using this it's going to feel absolutely great the performance is always going to be on deck just because you're going to be nice and cool and as mentioned snapdragon 8th gen chipset it is the best that they've gotten 
and it is absolutely fantastic. It helps you with the render of the graphics and it makes it run way smoother. So that's gonna be very great. And as mentioned, the 165 Hertz display. So it's gonna be smooth as butter. It's gonna be actually a very great phone. There is gonna be also this, actually this tab here, I thought it was to be to unlock, but I'm, I actually read it. It's actually a little chip here or a little click to kind of open the game center or the game space, which allows you to customize and do all the stuff you want with your games. All right, another cool feature that we have is the air triggers here that you can kind of play with. So we're actually gonna try that out afterwards when we get into a game. Right now we're still updating a little bit, but we just wanna talk about that a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the air triggers right here. You guys can see these two right here. So these two air trigger is gonna be very, very cool. They basically have no delay when you're using it, so it's going to be very competitive when using it, especially when you're playing games like Call of Duty Mobile. Very, very good. Monitor and the screen is going to be 165 hertz, like I mentioned. Very good. You guys can see, look how smooth it is. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is going to be a very great viewing experience. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. All right, so let's talk about the battery life. The battery life is fairly good. It's 4,500 milliamps which is actually split into two batteries. So it's gonna be two batteries with 2,250, which is really good. So you can be charging one of the batteries while you're playing, while the other one is gonna be used for gaming. So you're not gonna lose any performance while it's being charged. So that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. All right, so we've actually also put on the case right now. You guys can see very nice, very thin. Doesn't really add too much bulk to it. Doesn't block the triggers. I don't know how strong of a case it's gonna be, but I like it because it, it's pretty much transparent. So you can see the color very, very nicely. You can see the red magic on the logo on the back. So that's good. The fan is not being blocked. None of this fan and the speakers are going to be really, really great. So that's actually going to be really nice. Uh, the main thing is we're going to show you guys the little red button here. Red button is going to open the game space. So as soon as you toggle it, it's going to unlock you. Wait, let me unlock this one again. Bang. Red magic. We're going to be in the game space. And that's going to be fantastic. It's going to allow you to optimize a lot of things. So let's go ahead and add Call of Duty right here. Join. Bang. This one should add it in turbo fan to make it nice and cold and if i click on this i should launch it and it this is the game assistance all right cool we're just going to skip it it should be allowing us to do a lot of things confirm all right allow i don't know if you guys can hear the audio and stuff like that but i'm sure let's do like a little audio test see if it picks up from so we're just going to download a little bit but we'll see if we can set up the air triggers and stuff like that. All right, so I have the audio maxed out. I wonder if you guys can hear it. I'm just gonna show it to you. I don't know if my headset's gonna capture it. Speakers on the bottom. You guys can kind of hear this part here. Pretty loud, very nice. So yeah, we have speakers on top and on the bottom. So bottom part right here, that's one nice speaker there. Nice speaker right on top here. You also have a fan here, which you can actually feel. The fan on the bottom here, you can actually feel it exhaust the, fi the fan. So that's gonna be really nice. Let's go ahead and log in real quick. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys how to set up the triggers. As you guys can see, we are currently in our HUD. So while you're in game space mode, you can go ahead to the top right and swipe. Once you swipe to the left, it's gonna show up this screen. And then once you're here, you go ahead and click on the left side, the shoulder. Once you click that, on the top left, there's going to be an on and off button. When you put it on, you can see there's an L and R button here. So right here, I have the right button, which is going to be for the slide trigger. And we have the L button here, which has for shoot, but I'm actually going to move it down here just to have our two triggers next to there. I know it's kind of messed up that I put L and R on the other side, but it is what it is. You can actually put some vibration feedback if you would like, but that's kind of cool. So when you press, it's going to vibrate. Now let's go ahead and show you guys how it's going to feel in game. And also keep in mind, we are currently playing in a 165 hertz. So same thing, if you want to change your refresh rate, you go swipe to the right as well again. And you guys can see on this side here, on the right side, there's a refresh rate. You can choose how much you want. I put 165, 120 is good enough, but it does come stock at 90. So very, uh, very, very okay. So we go ahead and see this. This is how I plan on playing. So you guys can see I have this right here. they will swipe up. You know, it's a little awkward because I'm, I'm kind of angled up a bit, but there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So definitely going to get a little, uh, a little time to get the hang of this, but right now it looks 
very very nice i don't know if this is going to be a final hud that we're going to work with just because i think i think playing five finger claw is going to be too much but it's kind of cool that you have the option to do so so that's actually really really nice there you go. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a lot, a little bit of time to get the hang into, but as I mentioned, you can literally have these buttons to map out for anything you want. If you want to have a shoot, you can do it afterwards. I have it as jump right now, but it makes it very convenient. That's actually really cool. I actually really enjoy these triggers. That's if you want to play five finger, but if we go ahead and switch it up a bit, you can either have it here or you can have it on the trigger. So if we put on the triggers, see how I'm using the trigger to shoot. So very easy, very nice to trigger. I have the slide button here. So if I want to slide in, you know, really up to you, but these triggers very useful indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we end this video, just want to mention I'm going to be one of the six captains in the COD Mobile Clash tournament, which will be on March 4th, 5th, and 6th. If you guys do want to pre-order this red magic that I will be using in the tournament, you have until March 3rd to get $20 off for early bird special. And this phone will be released on March 10th. For more information, click the link in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.